All right, and hopefully we can bring the feet up for you guys, and it will be beautiful. Am I starting? Yes. Right after? Whenever you're Let's ready. Let's go! All right. Uh, and he's off to the races. Of course, uh, it is infinite cooldown to the ultimate. You gotta juke around this one through the base gate and up around this turn. He's doing pretty well so far. Yeah. The, really, the hardest part, I think, uh, of this is kind of this next big turn around this, as well as the target them. He's up in the river. Yeah. Uh, the active items, plus yeah. Predator. Yeah, so he's actually popping popping all his active uh, now. Turns. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. got this is going to be a really good time. He's beat this us for sure. He's time. beat oh, us for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure, number perfect. one. Perfect. <laughs> Boom. All right. I joked under pressure when the stopwatch came out, so in my mind, I was four seconds faster. And then you go, Hooney, 45-10. Solid two Ooh, over his there you go. Well done, well done. Yeah, well done. Pretty good. I'm also pretty interested to see if we actually have someone who's like one, like a scion, actual scion player, because he right. can bounce off the walls and he can do some crazy drifting winner. stuff. He's got to be the best scion player. He already admitted to me that he's not a scion player. He's more of a more of a Yasuo Riven type of guy. I'm also pretty interested to see if we actually have someone who's like one, like a scion, actual scion player, an actual scion player. Ah, scion on Speedway. This actually looks pretty fun. Thanks to those of you who brought it to my attention on Twitter. I'm really excited to try this one out and claim the top spot. Currently, as of recording this video, the fastest time achieved on Zion Speedway is by Hooney. He placed in at 45.1 seconds, and by the looks of it, he did a really good run, but I can see some issues with it, and I hopefully can beat it. By the way, if you're interested in trying this out for yourself, then stick around till the end of the video, and I'll show you how to accurately set up the track. Before we jump into the race, let me quickly introduce a valuable source of knowledge that's going to help you figure out your strategy strengths and weaknesses as a player. Now this, my friends, is Mobilitics. Today we'll be taking a quick look at just one of the tools it has to offer, the GPI. The Mobilitics GPI is a radar graph that shows your strengths and weaknesses across eight different skill categories. Basically, this bad boy is going to automatically evaluate your account and point out where you're doing well and where you might be struggling. You can use it to compare your account against both low and high ELO to see where your skill stands. Simply click on the skill category you'd like to learn more about and you'll see an in-depth breakdown. Mobilitics then offers numerous tips on how to improve even linking external content to help further your knowledge. Remember guys, this website is entirely free. You gain access to all of these tools the second you sign up. I've left a sign up link in the description of this video. I know there are some of you who haven't seen Hooney's full run, but don't worry, once I've done mine, we'll compare Hooney's top time against mine in a side-by-side -side comparison. So look forward to that, but of course, let's give this a shot. I've just finished setting up the track and had a few test runs to get a feel for it. Keep in mind, there are some rules to this minigame, and we We'll need to go through them right now so that you get a good grasp for it. First of all, you can buy any item you want, but you can only use the active item once throughout the race. This same rule applies for the summoner spells. You can take Ghost, you can take Flash, but you can only use them once. Rule number three is that you cannot flash over terrain. You must stay within the boundary of the track. Don't try and get cheeky. Flashing the wall is against the rules. You'll be disqualified. Something to keep in mind is that there are some target dummies near the Baron Pit that will obstruct your ultimate if you run into them. Avoid these at all costs. Now you guys have been caught up to speed, so let's get this show on the road. My first official attempt is about to start. I hope you enjoy. Whenever you're ready. Let's go! There we have it, that was my first attempt. Not too bad, I think it was roughly around 44 seconds. However, I was looking over the Hooney footage and it seems that he was starting his race at around 27 minutes, which means that he has home guards. If we closely look, you can see that he gets a boost at the start and also after his first ultimate. So this means that I'm gonna need to try it again and see if I can lower my overall time. Right. 
bounce off the walls and you can do some crazy <laughs> Don't forget, if you screw up and you're starting again, make sure you get rid of all your spellbinding stacks before you start or else that is cheating. And there you have it, it looks like I got roughly 43 seconds, but we'll compare it to the Honey Run to find out what the official time is. Alright, and hopefully we can bring the feet up for you guys, and it will be beautiful. Am I starting? Yes. Right after? Whenever you're ready. Let's go! Alright, oh. and he's off to the races. Of course, oh. there's infinite cooldown to the ultimate. You gotta juke around this one through the base gate, and up around this turn. He's doing pretty well so far. Yeah. The, really, the hardest part, I think, uh, of this is kind of this next big turn around this, as well as the target dummies up in the river. Yeah. Uh, the active items, plus yeah. Predator. Yeah, so he's actually popping, popping all his active now. He still, I think, if it has his flash available that he can use. Remember, he can't actually flash over the walls, so there's a bunch of target dummies up here that he's got to avoid. He's doing pretty yeah, well so far. Good. And you kind of got the outside corner. It's going to be a bit of a slower turn. There's, there's the flash. flash. Builds some space. And it's a little bit more uh, finagling no! turns. No! Oh, yeah! This is going to be a really good time. He's beat this us for sure. He's time. beat us for oh, sure. Yeah, this for sure, number perfect. one. Perfect. <laughs> Boom. All right, all right. Yeah. Nicely done. That was What's up, my dudes? If you're still around, I'm assuming that you're trying to beat my record, so let's quickly help you set up the match so that you can show me up. Then lock in Scion. These are the runes I've been using. First of all, I want to say that my score is completely beatable. I've saw so many issues with my run that could be improved upon, and I might actually throw you some hints. Also, we need to address something that was an error in my actual run. We'll do that straight away. So let's go do that right now before we do anything else. I had the enemy dummy right here when in fact it should be lined up more here and it does change it slightly however it makes no difference as long as you land here and then move forward you can still do the exact alt that ends up here so it changes nothing I got the same time anyway let's start building the map and I'll show you where you can improve upon if you want to actually succeed turn on all the auto refreshes Get some gold, level up to 18. And get rid of the tower invincibility. Just toggle all these, I don't really know. Then we want to buy our items. I would just suggest copying. There's always room to improve, but I mean, if you can't be bothered figuring out, then just copy the same thing Hooney did. <laughs> That's the way I did it. And then Moby Boot. Now I'm organizing them in a pattern that's easy for me to hit. It's up to you how you want to organize them. Swap out your These ward. Honestly, it doesn't really matter that much how accurate your boundaries are. As long as it follows the main path, it's perfectly fine. Because you actually won't be utilizing a lot of the area. I'm going to speed this up and show you each part separately so that you can mimic it.
imagine I've got home guards, you actually get like 1050 movement speed. Your ultimate only does 950, so technically the best play would be to run out here and stop here. Because you still have over 950 movement speed, and then once you reach this point, you- Oh, that would be the quickest way to do it. It's a little harder though, but yeah, I, I think that is one way you can improve upon my, my time. Also, in the video, I stopped here for some reason. I didn't actually click before I activated all my movement speed. You'll notice there's a big stop, and Huni catches up. There is also this thing I altered from here, when you probably could ult from here. By the time I stopped here, I still had more than 950 movement speed. The optimal place might be right here. How many battles have I won? Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully those tips helped out. If you do actually manage to beat my score, feel free to tweet it at me and then I'll try beat you back. Y'all ain't on his level, bitches tell Torella. Y'all can never beat him like a